The digger's about to arrive, but as you can see, nothing's happened yet. For a long time now, I've wanted to capture a long-term time lapse of a build start to finish. So I raced into town this morning. So I actually got two of these. Let's go inside and see what's in them. This one I'm going to put on here. Uh, this tree should be sweet. And then I'm going to put one on a pole down the front looking up to the build. Let's get cracking. Uh, so here's the recommendations. I'm going to do one shot every 10 minutes. It's got a little screen here so you can see exactly what you're setting it up for. This is a TLC 200, this one here. At the time, I was weighing up using a GoPro versus this. First thing I looked at is how long a GoPro can do a time lapse for. Then I ended up actually on the GoPro website itself and noticed in the comments that someone had said you should really be considering a, a camera that's designed for construction projects. Uh, so I googled camera to shoot construction project and then that came up with this Brino construction camera. And I'm so glad that I went down the route of choosing the Brino cameras. I bought these ones at PB Tech in Wellington. It comes with this little case. The only other additional thing I would recommend is buying a little bracket mount. The one that comes with this is plastic and I broke it like literally within a couple of days. Those clips up there uh, designed for swan cameras and I got that from JCAR in Lower Hutt. I think it's like $20, but it just screws into the mount here. So screw the mount wherever you want, swivel it around and then yeah, piece of cake, $20 attachment. I think this is about $350 from memory. Really easy to use. We are reading the SD card and we're gonna keep it on five minutes because that just seems to work the best ratio wise with battery life and the rest of it. So we've still got three bars. Day one of a brand new job. And so I've got another Bruno camera. So this is pretty cool, this clamp and clip system. We're gonna clip it up there on the fascia. Already I feel like this is a little bit easier to set up than the last couple of cameras I've done where I've had to kind of mount something to the fence and then I've had to screw this to the mount. So we'll give this a go. That's awesome, eh? And then this means you can kind of like 